Collectors, you have our first SH Figwarts Lightyear and we're very excited. This was pre-ordered about four months ago and we finally got it. It's an expensive fig, but we've seen a couple of videos and it looks pretty awesome. So we're expecting a lot. It's made by Bandai. Now it's designed by the Tamashi Nations in Japan. You've even got the seal of approval right there, the quality work. The artwork on the side of the box shows Lightyear. At the bottom, you got your customer support and website. Going around in the back, now you got your accessories here. So what it comes with, you got the jetpack, you got two face sculpts, DX laser blade. Looks like you got the blaster, also the gun. Now this goes for around $100. It's gonna be a little bit hard to find, but we'll try to put a link down below. To measure the box case where display is 7.1 inches wide, 7.1 inches tall, 2.2 inches thick. And use your barcode or serial number. This is our first SH Figuarts and we're very excited. From the outside of the box, it's already looking good. Let's go ahead and check it out. So collectors, unbox! So out of the packaging, you got two layers of glasses just to protect it from scratching. Nice packaging. Got all the accessories there. You got the head. You got the hands. All the other accessories. Here's Buzz out of the box. Oh, what is this in the back? Now it came with this. Now, I'm wondering where's the base or the stand? I mean, this is the one that hooks it on the body, but where does it attach to? Look at all that accessories and features, guys. Wow, this is very impressive. Just look at the details on that. Got the hands here. Got the blasters. DX laser blade, the jetpack, the dome, and the wings. So after going through the box, I found a little manual instruction here showing the names and accessory it has. Now when we turn it around, now we figure out that this is a display joint and if you want to put it on a stage or connect it to something, the Tomashi stage, it's sold separately. I wish they would have added that in there. Now that we got Lightyear out of the box, this is freaking awesome. Just the details. We gotta point this out right away. At first, we thought this was decal the Zero One, the Space Ranger logo, the Lightyear, but these are painted on. My goodness, that's awesome. Because usually when you have decals, they start to peel off in time. And look at the font. You can clearly say it's Lightyear. And check this out. One by the knee. Look at that, you can even read it. It says, keep clear, caution, wow. I am very impressed so far, but let's keep going. We just started too. Let's start with the head first. Look at that pigmentation and that sculpting. Looks beautiful, looks nice. I mean, the eyes could, you know, could do a little bit better. Also, the side of his chin here. You see that? It's a little bit, uh, a little bit of flashing in there. The top of his head going around. Not only did the head tilt left and right, check this out guys, it actually shifts. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. You have a joint at the bottom of the neck and on top. So you get more movement and reach. You can tilt the head up, tilt it down, and check this out. You can even move it forward and backwards. More reach. That is fantastic can twist the head all the way around that's if you want to a lot of reach inside of the dome and i wish they would have actually some sort of paint here because technically it's supposed to have lights inside of his suit let's go down to the chest i want to mention this again just look at that font light you so clear that's how quality and detail it is got a matte finish you got the space ranger logo Got the buttons here. I mean, they don't actually press. And there's the emergency one. Going all the way around, you got that zero one painted on. Let's go in the back. You got zero two here because Alicia Hawthorne is number one. Number one in command. Lightyear is number two. And you got this here that comes off. We'll put the accessories later. You got the SR Space Ranger. Go to the front. Let's go ahead check out the articulation on the arms. Check this out, guys. Both shoulder pad goes down. This is freaking fantastic. So you have more reach if you want to put it up. The 
shoulder ball you could actually go up and down I'm just trying to be careful now you can go all the way around just do it slowly put this up you have a double jointed elbow with the 90 degree actually more than 90 degrees check that out man look at that elbow bend there's a bicep swivel bicep cut you have your hand that could go all the way around you know, up and down also you can swap it we'll show that later now we're very surprised they didn't add the wrist communicator it would have been nice if this could just open close with the wrist communicator they didn't have it or even just like an accessory that you could attach on same articulation on the other arm now do be careful when you're twisting this because with the shoulder pad going down you might scratch it the chest area and the torso let's do some ab crunch wow look at that reach let's put the arms up real quick get the torso first wow look at that crunch and of course you got the bottom as well that moves so a full crunch would be ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that tilt it back man of course, he has a hip twist. Now, let's go to the hips here. Let's do some splits. Almost to 180, but it does have a thigh cut. So, if you want to adjust it, you can achieve that 180. Ah, dang. See what I'm saying, guys? You guys got to be careful. I just scratch it right there by just twisting it that way. Yeek. Oh, damaged it already. Weathering it down already, guys. Legs can go up this much with a double jointed knee. You can go more than 90 degrees. Nice. Same on the other leg. Now, it does not have a knee twist, but you can twist the thighs. So it makes it okay. Going down to the boots. Now usually when you have a suit or an armor, little stuff like this on the side kind of gets in the way. So preventing you from kind of moving. But check this out. You can pop it down. So you can get more twist and angle movements. Here's the other side. Pop it down. Now these aren't no longer in your way. So you can go here. On the other side. Move it back. Move it forward. Whoa, a little weird, but look at that reach. You can twist it. Wow. And you got a toe hinge. Nice. Just look at that crazy toe reach. Amazing. Just for kicks, no Andy at the bottom of the feet, guys. Let's work our way up from the bottom to the top. Now, of course, he does not have a jetpack because this is the first version of his suit. Also, you notice there's no writing here where the company would put made in whatever or serial number, which is nice. Kind of ruins the action figure if you have writing in the back. Mentioned earlier, this is the Lightyear 02 because Alicia Hawthorne's number one in command and Lightyear's number two. This figure is very hollow, fairly light, which I definitely do not mind at all. Easier to pose, easier to stand without going forward or backward too much because of the weight. Now it's time to try on the awesome accessories. Trying the dome first. Now I wish that they would have painted this black. Because in the movies, that's how it separates it when it pushes back. It has like a plastic or a metal rim to it. To put it on buzz, you have to take this. It's like a little disc. And on the other side. You have the two slots. Just feed it through there. nice and look at that no gapping whatsoever nice fitting view in the back let's swap out the head take this out first so it's the whole neck that comes out not just the head try not to do this as much because i just don't want it to get loose but you kind of have to pop it out oh that's actually fairly easy to take out ball head joint just kind of shove it in there try to do it just gently there look at that now this is bus with his like hood on or his suit or his cowl look at the movement 
Awesome. Oh, forgot to put this on. Make you look clean. Let's try out the hands. Let's pop it out. Once again, try not to do this too much, guys, because it will wear out. We have the pointed fingers. This could be like when he's flying. We got the trigger finger on one hand, and you have the open hands on the other. We got the laser gauntlet. Now, if you guys haven't seen the movie, the reason why the color is not matching with his suit, because technically this is from the armadillo where they found a bunch of weapons, and I'm guessing it's from the Zap Patrol. Slide it through his arms, just like that. There. We have the Rascal Blaster, fit snug on his hands, even with the trigger finger, looking good. Technically, you could swap it, this laser gauntlet on this arm here, but this kind of gets in the way. I don't want to end up scratching or damaging it. Then we have the well-crafted DX laser blade. It's nice how this is clear here. Sometimes you have the ejector pin, but here looks clean. Loaded with the other hand. Nice and slow. Look at that. Let's go with the jetpack. Now he has an option here where you can have the wings closed and open. Let's look in the details on this first. Now also this doesn't match your suit because this is the first version. And this one actually comes from the XL15 where you're doing the emergency eject. It attaches on his back. Right now it's closed, and if you want it open, this just comes out, slides out. You just feed the wings through here. The other side. Nice. The way to attach it on this back, you're going to have to take this little panel off, and then you just put the peg in there. Yeah, at least he has a little bit of hole in there, enough for you to just kind of wiggle your finger. Just kind of be careful you don't scratch the paint. There. Attach on his back. Beautiful. Look at that. Now he has his jet pack. Oh, he's head. I didn't want to shove this too much. Nice jet pack. Doesn't have a danger jet exhaust or a... Karate chop feature. Now, once again, this laser gauntlet is from the Armadillo from the Zap Patrol, and the jetpack is from the XL15 spaceship. We're not done yet, guys. Now, this little attachment here so that they can holster their weapons. Take off the jetpack. This is for the DX laser blade. This one's for the Rascal Blaster. Now, this is a little difficult here because it's so small. Might have to get like something a little sharp or small in here. This is very small. Do not lose this. Attach it to his legs. There you go. And you won't be able to put it upside down because it has that. You have the shape that you got to match it with his legs. So you won't be able to put it on wrong. Get the DX laser blade. Slide it. Yeah, Rascal Blaster, <laughs> nice, Woo! this is fire, look at Buzz Lightyear, Ultimate Space Ranger. Now we did notice that the white on this doesn't ma match his suit, it's a little bit on the more of a whiter, cleaner one, this one's a little bit more off-white, so the Rascal Blaster doesn't exactly match the suit. Same as the DX laser blades, a little bit more white, actually more champagne. I would have to say the baddest figure so far. My dynamic action hero, Buzz Lightyear, was my favorite. This one tops it right now. Well, it stands at about 6 inches tall and about 3 inches wide. We got the front view. Side. And the back. Here's just a size comparison next to our Mirrorverse Buzz Lightyear. You can see he's more on the bulky side. 
we have our Beast Kingdom Buzz Lightyear. Now, this is a little bit more comparable to this Lightyear because of the articulation, movements, and the face swap. Now, we did pre-order the Beast Kingdom Lightyear as well. That's going to come in a year. We're excited for that one too. Now, that one is the same leak as the SH Figuarts. Of course, we can't forget about comparing him next to our Alpha Class Zerg. We cannot wait to get our Hot Toy Zerg and our Beast Kingdom as well. All coming in about a year. Hopefully in the future they would come up with an updated version of the Alpha Suit. There's a reason why these don't match if you guys watch the movie towards the end. The Buzz Lightyear suit now has more of a green metallic finish. In the back it actually has a jetpack that matches his suit. And best of all, dual lasers on the arm so you wouldn't need the Rascal Blaster and the Laser Gauntlet. The only thing I would add on this, I mean it's very minimal. You got that little light around his neck, the plastic around the dome helmet, and the wrist communicator. So far, we're very happy with it. You gotta admit, this is the baddest Buzz Lightyear action figure we've ever owned. Now, we understand it's a little bit on the pricey side, $100. We're we'll trying to put a link down below if you guys want to try to get it. But so far, it has all the articulation that we like, the details, the fine details, the weapons, the covers, everything in the Lightyear that we're looking for. But so far, this is our favorite. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of this Lightyear. Let's do some ridiculous poses with this Buzz. So that's your Disney Pixar featuring the SH Figures Buzz Lightyear by Bandai. And it comes with the original box, a manual display joint, three pairs of hands, two head sculpt, open and close wings, a jet pack, weapons holder and covers, the dome, laser gauntlet, laser blade, rascal blaster, and of course, Buzz Lightyear. Collectors, unite!